on the national championship, social media is exploding with posts from ex with excitement from fans as the clock ticks down here in the fourth quarter. And let's check back in with Vinny, who is live outside Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Vinny. Natisha, we know they've had some trouble with the roof here at Mercedes-Benz getting that thing open. If Georgia wins, and we're in the fourth quarter and they're up by 10, that roof is going to explode. No problem opening that thing up tonight. All right, well, I want to go to Joe Hankey right now because he's downtown at Stats Sports Bar with some fans. It's a viewing party. Joe, is the roof still on? The, the roof is still on here. This is probably the second best place you could be watching this game today. Those Mercedes-Benz tickets were hard to get here at Stats. They have been loud all night. These UGA fans right here have been cheering through this whole game. UGA! 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 Let me tell you, they, they've been cheering like this even when the camera is not on them. Right now, we got another quarter left in this game. I talked to a few of the fans here after the first half. They were very excited, but they were also hesitant knowing that second half is always important. Here's what they had to say. 95 yards of offense in the first half. That's, that's better than anybody could have ever anticipated coming into the game. Yeah, you keep running the ball, controlling the clock like we're doing. We're, it's going to be a good game. It's about as I expected. We always chop. Keep chopping. We just keep the main thing, the main thing. And those fans, they've been a little bit reserved here in the second half as Alabama's been putting some points on the board, but they are still very excited here. As I said, we got one quarter left. If UJ holds on, I don't know how loud these fans are going to be here, but it'll be a once-in-a-lifetime experience for these folks. Video though, right now, we'll send it back to you outside the beds. All right, thanks so much, Joe. Of course, uh, we've got folks all over tonight, and we're going to continue to cover this. I want to go back.